our first reading today from Ezekiel chapter 47. Uh, the prophet Ezekiel uh, was brought by the angel to the temple, and in that uh, he saw that water was flowing from below the threshold of the temple towards the east. Okay, there's water flowing. And when Ezekiel stepped to the water, at first it was ankle deep. Okay, and then it rose, it became knee deep. And then it rose again, it became waist deep. And it, it, this symbolizes uh, our levels of prayer, types of prayer that we could do. Okay, the, the ankle deep is vocal prayer. The knee deep is meditation. And then the, the yeah. one that is on the waist is our contemplation, contemplative prayer. And we should not just look at vocal prayers just for beginners, and meditation is for intermediate, and the contemplation is for the proficient. No. You know, even those who are advanced in prayer, they could use vocal prayer to contemplate. St. Teresa of Avila once said that, right? Even just by saying, Our Father, you could be in ecstasy. You know, you could be in contemplation, contemplating upon God. And in, in our Catechism of the Catholic Church, there's a section there that talks all about prayer. I think it's section four, if I'm not mistaken. But I'll just share with you what is contemplation. From the Catechism of the Catholic Church, 2712 says, Hi. Contemplative prayer is the prayer of the child of God, of the forgiven sinner who agrees to welcome the love by which he is loved, and who wants to respond to it by loving even more. But he knows that the love he is returning is poured out by the Spirit in his heart, for everything is grace from God. Contemplative prayer is the poor and humble surrender to the loving will of the Father in ever deeper union with his beloved son. On another uh, paragraph in the Catechism from 2714, contemplative prayer is also the preeminently intense time of prayer. In it, the Father strengthens our inner being with power through His Spirit that Christ may, d may dwell in our hearts through faith and we may be grounded in love. And that's what we're aiming. We're aiming to be uh, in contemplation, not just in our one hour of meditation uh, every day, but also throughout the day. Okay? As I've said, we're called to be uh, contemplative in action, right? One hand we're working, and one, one hand we're holding the hand of our Father, contemplating upon His love. And what happened there is that it says here that we will, be, whenever we're in contemplation, we will be filled by the Holy Spirit. Because in our second reading today, it says, Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells in you? We are in contact with the Spirit of God. And when we're in contact with the Spirit of God, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And as we know, the Spirit of God is love. Okay? And when we're, we're, when we're filled with the Holy Spirit... We're filled with God's love. I think that is the greatest insurance for us not to fall into sin, right? It's because, it's because we, get, we get disconnected with God and we don't experience His presence and that's where we find that love in other things. And we see that in our gospel today, right? The temple, it's, it, this, this, what's happening in our gospel today points to us, okay? Whenever we're not filled with the Holy Spirit, when we're not connected with God, this is what will happen in our gospel today to us. It says, in the temple, he found people selling cattle, sheep, and doves, and the money changers seated at their tables. If we don't love God, we will start loving money, lust, possession, whatever. That's why we need to go back to our first love.